The American University Eagles, a 19-12 season that included an 11-game winning streak. The names of Roblicki, Gardner, Reed, and Schof, all earning All-League honors along the way. Hello everyone, I'm Ray Crawford. When American meets Boston University for the Patriot League tournament title on Wednesday, they'll also be playing for the league's automatic bid into the NCAA tournament, which for the Eagles would be their third appearance in the last six years. Washington, D.C. is where we find first-year head coach Mike Brennan, who also was named the league coach of the year. First coach, congratulations on that. Uh, your team's defense has played a major part in your team's success this season. The Eagles in the top ten in the nation in points allowed. What's been the biggest difference in preventing teams from putting up the big numbers? Um, I think our guys work really hard together. Uh, we spend a lot of time on our defense every day in practice. Uh, I think, you know, their, their level of attentiveness on every possession um, and just, uh, you know, they, their commitment to each other has been the biggest factor. Coach Boston University's Maurice Watson is not only the Terriers' leading scorer, but coming off a huge game in which he had 17 assists the most of anyone in college basketball this season. What's the key to slow him down Wednesday? Uh, yeah, Maurice is a terrific player. I mean, he just does so much for BU. He can score. He can get other people shots. Um, when he's distributing the ball is when he's at his best. So, um, again, it's going to be a team effort. It's not just one guy that, you know, that, that can stop Maurice. we got to have five guys you know, all working together to sort of limit, you know, what he does off of those ball screens. Coach, your team split the season series with BU. In fact, you handed them their worst loss of the season, winning by 30 back in January. In the process, also scoring 86 yourself, the most this season by your team. So which do you feel more comfortable with on Wednesday, a game in the 50s or the 80s? Uh, well, I think we're going to have to defend. Uh, so, you know, a low, I'm assuming it's going to be a lower scoring game. Uh, that, that game early in the year was a bit of an anomaly. Um, you know, we caught them on, you know, we, we were having a great night and they were, you know, they had a bad night um, coming off a road trip there. So that, that was a bit of a fluke, uh, but it's, it's going to be a, a hard fought battle and I'm expecting every basket's going to be contested. Coach, when you played at Princeton, your college ball, you were coached by legendary head coach Pete Carrill. What type of pregame speech would he give your team on Wednesday and what would he say? Um, yeah, to, to be honest, it's mostly uh, sort of technical stuff, just talking about all the things that, uh, you know, that we would have to do to beat BU, um, you know, talking about their personnel, their sets, you know, what they do offensively and defensively. All right, Coach Mike Brennan, thanks very much, and best of luck Wednesday against Boston University. All right, thanks a lot, Ray. And speaking of the Terriers, check out my interview with Coach Joe Jones on CampusInsiders.com.